and Christian. And this is Slaughterhouse Five. Hello, who would you like to locate? Hi, do you know, uh, um, who so and so I'm is? I'm sorry, but there's no one that goes by that name. Oh, man. Okay. Hey, how's it going, man? Hey, Billy. Hi. Nice to meet you again. Hi. Thanks. So, as you know, I'm uh, writing a book. Oh, a really? Book. What kind of book? It's a book about war. Um, Mary, have I done something to offend you? You seem a little upset. You guys were just babies when you guys went to that war. I understand. Bernard and I were babies in the war. But look at us now. Well, there were many babies that died during that war. I understand you think that the war books encourage people to go to war. Ask me something. Okay, if I finish writing the book, I'll name it The Children's Crusade, just for you. Okay. One fine evening, Chalfamadorians decided to invade Earth and took Billy Pilgrim far, far away to their own planet. This right here is Billy's story. tell you about my story about being captured by aliens. Dad, why are you crazy? I'm not crazy. But you are. You said you got abducted by aliens. I was too. You're imagining things again. No, really. I'm working on my second letter to give to the newspapers. What is it about? Your alien abduction? No. The Chalfmadorians taught me one thing. And it's when someone dies, all they say is, so it goes. Ugh, you're crazy. I'm going, I'm going. Get in the truck. Wait. 
Get out of the car. You over there, you over here. I don't think so. No, I didn't. Boys, it's me. It's Wild Bob. <laughs> wow, he just died. So it goes. Doctor? Yes? Is everything okay with my eyes? Yeah, you just need reading classes. Meanwhile, on the other box car, Ronald Weary dies, and right before he dies, he says, For the record, Billy Pilgrim did this to me. Oh my gosh. I'm going to wake up Ronald. Ronald! Until it goes. <sighs> Why me? Us travel from the door and take things the way it is. Um, you guys don't believe in free will? From all the other species I've studied, I'm going to turn for them free will. Who are you? Oh, I'm just Elliot Woodwater. Um, what kind of books are you reading? I'm just reading science fiction. Oh, can I see one? Yeah, sure. This one's by Kilgore Trout. Oh, Kilgore Trout. Action. You know, sometimes I feel that you're full of secrets. I'm not. You must have secrets about the war, right? Um, no, I don't. You know, I couldn't help but overhear that conversation with the soldier you had that died. So it goes. His name was Edgar Dooley. I'm sorry for your loss. It's okay. This is your house. Slaughterhouse 5. Back in Chalfamador, Montana and Billy have a talk. Oh, yeah! You've been time traveling again, haven't you? I can always tell you. Where did you go this time? New York. Did you see any plays or movies? No, but I did buy a... a Kilgore Trout novel. I've heard that you were in war and how much of a clown you were. I even heard about that high school teacher that got shot. So it goes. Everything is very quiet after a massacre, and it always is, except for the birds. And what do the birds say? All there is to say about a massacre. Things like, 